we go? Who will we be? What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. Look, kittens, snow! Hooray! Can we build a snowman? Well, there's not nearly enough snow for that right now. But can we build it when there is enough? Sure, after we shovel. We don't want to get stuck in the house, do we? Aw, making a snowman is much more fun than shoveling. How about we make up a story until there's enough snow outside? All right, about... A gopher who got stuck in his house. Great idea. And I know just what to call it. Gopher help. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time in an old hollowed out tree lived a gopher named Chompers. Oh no, oh no. Chompers needed help because something was wrong with his... His nose. No, his toes. No, it's my television. It's broken. Won't somebody help me fix it? We can help Chompers. Yeah, we'll be the fix-it kitties. If we can't fix it, it's, it's totally kaput. kaput. <laughs> <laughs> go, kitty kitties, let's go! The fix-it kitties. At your service. Hurry, my TV stopped working, and my favorite show's about to begin. Well... Let's take a look. Oh, please, Harry! Aha! Uh -huh. This vine was growing inside your TV. Oh, you fixed it. Of course. We're the Fix-It Kitties. <laughs> I love those little ducks. <laughs> the very next day, while the kitties were busy fixing things at their repair shop... Fix it, kitties. If we can't fix it... Hurry! My TV won't work again! Chompers, we'll be right there. Come on, Kate. Sounds like another TV emergency at Chompers. I thought we fixed that. Thank goodness you're here. I can't reach the remote. Um, I think your problem is these vines. I probably should get rid of them, but I don't want to miss my favorite show. Please hurry! Wow, do these vines grow fast! Uh, chop it, chompers! <laughs> Got it! Kit, I'll stay here with chompers and get these vines cut down. Great! I'll go back to the fix-it chop in case someone else needs our help. Whoa! <laughs> Those ducks are funny. Hey, I had a hat. No sooner had Kit gotten back to the shop when... Fix it, kitties. If we can't fix... Ah! Kit, you got to come help us. Kate? We're stuck. Chompers? Someone got to help. come help us out. Hang on. Oh, no. Kate, I thought you were going to help Chompers cut these vines. I just wanted to watch the ducks first. <laughs> Weren't they funny? Yeah, but it isn't very funny now. Hey, that's enough playing around. It's time for the Fix-It Kitties to things. <laughs> Kate, get out! <laughs> the fix-it kitties kept working and working until they were finally done. <sighs> and from then on, Chompers made sure his vines were cut before he had fun watching his favorite show. Open wide, Chompers! <laughs> Now hand me that remote. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun story. Look at all that snow, Mom. Who wants to build a snowman? We do. But, but first, we have to, to shovel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I hear you, little kittens. <laughs> all right, get in here. Why are you still up? I thought I tucked you into bed already. We want to 
story first. Yeah, about a pirate. Arr! An elephant pirate who fights something huge and scary. Like a bear. Or a dinosaur. I know, a mouse. I love it, a pirate mouse. Uh, okay, we'll make up a story about a crazy little pirate mouse on a pirate ship. And I have the perfect title, that crazy little mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived a bold pirate captain who loved to sail the world in search of treasure. Oh, oh this treasure hunt has got me pooped. I need me some sleep. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> no, not that crazy little pirate mouse. Every time I want to sleep, he pumps out of his mouse hole and scares me. I mean, keeps me up. <laughs> Go back in your hole right now. <laughs> oh, what can I do? <gasps> I know what that captain needs. Mouse tamers. That could be us. Aye, aye, matey. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! Ahoy, Captain! Mouse tamers, ready for action! Mouse tamers, tame mouse! Your, Your command, command is our wish! And so the brave mouse tamers went to work. First, mouse tamer Kit tried capturing the hyper mouse. <laughs> I've got this! I'll capture the rascal with my net! <laughs> I can't take it! Make him stop! Not to worry, Captain. That stowaway can't outrun me! <laughs> Charge! <laughs> Surrender, Harlot! <laughs> Please, I can't take this much longer! Drive that pest back where he belongs! The mouse is hyper, but don't dismay! We'll drive that pesky pest away! <laughs> ah! Hurry! I can't hold on much longer! Go back! Shoot! Scram! Get out of here! Go! Go back into your hole! Shoot! The moose! Ah! <laughs> Please, enough! I can't take it anymore! Take what? This dragon! Oh, all I want is a little peace and quiet! Oh. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Peace and quiet? Easy peasy! Lullaby squeezy! <laughs> When you wake in the morning, you'll hear the sea call. And you'll sail off for gold buried deep. But the night is the time for adventures in dreams. So lie down, little pirate, and sleep. Well, I'll be. It worked. You two have saved me pirate ship from this scary but lovable little... In the morning you'll sail off for treasures to keep. Now lie down, little pirate, and sleep. Good night, Dad. Good night, Kit. Good night, Kit. Kid, Kate, why, just look at you. Ugh, you've grown so much since the last time I saw you. Uh, Grandpa, that was yesterday. Was it? <laughs> anyway, you two just keep getting bigger and bigger. Hey, Grandpa, can we make up a story together? Sure. About a giant. Who keeps growing and growing. Oh, that sounds fun. And what should we call it? I know, a giant. Problem. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a young giant who was really into fancy clothes. 
looking good. I'm a giant of fashion, a fashion giant, a designer's dream, a giant client. I got giant moves and giant rhymes with hooks. You'll be seeing my looks in the history books. Spectacular. Simply sensational. Who's the designer? It's the latest from the House of Huge. But this giant had one giant problem. He just kept growing and growing until... I see London, I see France, I see giants underpants. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll be right back. So the giant went back to get a bigger and even more fabulous outfit. I didn't think it was possible to look even more fantastic. But somehow, I've done it again. Dazzling. Daring. Right? Is it really a Calvin Colossal? None other. And it was made just my size. But not for long, because the giant started growing again. <laughs> <laughs> nice underwear. Yeah. What am I going to do? There's nothing left for me in the big, tall, and massive shop. I've outgrown it all. We should make clothes for the giant. Yeah, we can be fashion designers. I'll be bulky. And I'll be Jigunda. Of bulky and Jigunda. The coolest fashion designers in the kingdom. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! Long sleeves. Great leaves, shoulder pads, vintage plaids, high-tech turtleneck. Turtleneck? Oh, what the heck? Some fancy pants. So he can dance. And purple sneaks. He can wear for weeks. Well, what do you think? Is it fabulous? No, it's fantabulicious. So how does it fit? Perfectly. Not anymore. Even for a giant, this guy is big. Hey, giant, how big are you going to get? Well, my daddy's as big as a house, so I guess as big as a house. We better plan ahead this time. Right. Since the giant will end up growing as big as a house, we need to make him an outfit that's house-sized. But he's not house-sized. Not yet. But he will be. So, how does this one fit? It's a little baggy. Not, Not for long. Three, two, one, ta-da! Perfect. Amazing. Astonishing. Wow. Who's, Who's the designer? Who else? Bulky and Jagunda, the leaders in Lederhosen. And from then on, the giant and the designers understood that it's best to plan ahead. Why, just look at you. Have you grown since the last time I saw you? Just my belly. But luckily it isn't growing as fast as this plant is. You need to get a bigger pot. Maybe one as big as a house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I wish my wizard stars would come out like yours, Kit. Well, I wish my hat came out pointy like yours. Kittens, why don't we take a little break and make up a story together? Okay. Can it be about a wizard? On a flower? Sure, that sounds fun. And what should we call it? I know! The magic flower. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a very powerful wizard who offered all the townsfolk a difficult challenge. This quest is a test to see who's the best. That's me. I'm the best. No, I am. This quest will not be easy for any of you. You must first travel to Echo Cave. Echo, Echo. <laughs> and deep inside Echo Cave, you will find... A pickle. A pickle? Uh, no. A magic treasure chest. And inside the chest is a tree as high as the clouds. A tree? In a chest? He is a wizard. 
And on top of that tree is this magic Nolia. Whoever gets me this magic flower will have the power to do anything. Really? Really. Then I'm going to get that flower, because I want the power. Me too. Me three. Just remember. Uh, good luck. After many hours, they arrived at Echo Cave. Echo, Echo. But the cave was blocked by a huge boulder. No problem. I got it. I don't got it. It's too big for me. Out of my way. <laughs> I did it. I'm going to get that flower all by myself. Wow. It's dark. 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 I can't see a thing. 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 Ugh. Ow. Ow. None of us will find that chest. We can't see in the dark. But kittens can. That means we can get the flower. And whoever gets the flower gets, gets the, the power. power. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go. Move over, guys. That magic Nolia is ours. There it is. There it is. Magic power, you're all ours. Aww. It's locked. Now none of us will get that flower. But I can open it with my tail. Wow. wow. I did it. Time to climb up and get that flower for myself. You'll have to beat me. You, you mean, mean us. us. So much for that idea. Well, I don't have to climb. I can fly up there and get that flower. Ha-ha! <laughs> no fair. I'm the one who moved the boulder. And we're, we're the, the ones who found, found the chest. And I'm the one who opened it. This stinks. Hey, look. Here they are, wizard. So, you each used your own special powers to help get the flower. How did you know that? This little birdie told me. Does that mean we all get the power to do anything? Even better, you already have it. We do? Didn't you move rocks and open locks? Take flight and see without light? You each have all the power you need as long as you help each other. But it is cooler when you have the outfit. <laughs> nice pointy hat, Kit. Nice stars there, Kate. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> cereal. I want some too. <sighs> Can you get me a bowl, Kit? Okay, but what will you give me? Give you? What do you mean? What will you give me to get you a bowl? Hmm. Here you go, Kate. Thank you, Dad. Hey, did I ever tell you the story about Jackie the Rabbit? No. You want to hear it? Sure. Me too. What's it called? A Good Day's Work. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a rabbit named Jackie, who liked to do any kind of odd job. And no job is too odd. One day, Jackie met a sheep. Hello, sheep. Who had a broken leg. Hello, sheep with broken leg. And a pet pig. <coughs> Hello, sheep with broken leg and pet pig. I always take Priscilla for a walk on Mondays, but I can't today. I can do that. Wonderful. What will you give me? Huh? How about two carrots? Mmm. Shall we? The next day, Jackie met a hedgehog who needed to make a little grape juice. No! A lot of grape juice! What's the matter? I can't find my grape stomper anywhere, and I've got to crush these grapes for juice. I can do that. What do you give me? Hmm, I don't know. 
What about that? That's my pet rock. Perfect. Jackie Rabbit liked any job, as long as she got something for it to put in her bag of stuff. Can you help me? I need to take this book back to the library, but I can't cross the road without a grown-up. And what do I get for it? The book? No, I have to return it. Sorry, kid. Nothing for me, nothing for you. Jackie's bag grew so heavy with the stuff she got for working, she could hardly walk with it. Whoa! Hmm, not good. Jackie Rabbit needs somebody to come along and help her. Like farmers. <gasps> we can be the farmers. Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Help! 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 We'll help you, Jackie. Go on, Kate, hurry! Grab the rope! Just hang on! Pull her out, Kit! Uh, thanks. But why did you help me? I didn't give you anything. You gave us plenty. She did? I did? Yeah. You made us feel good. It's true. I do feel good. Of course. It always feels good to help people. You should try it. Uh, how? Well, my back itches. Ah, that feels good. Thank you very much. You know, it does feel good. Can I help you with anything else? We're fine, fine thank, thank you. you. No, thank you. And Jackie set out in search of ways to help others. Jackie, I always take Priscilla skating on Fridays, but... I'm on it! Don't you want carrots first? Uh, no! Thanks! I found my grape stomper, Jackie. But he's stuck. What can I... Don't worry, I got this! Go on! Jump! And from that day on, Jackie Rabbit understood that just helping for the good of others can make you feel good, too. Would you like me to read to you? Sure. Once upon a time, there was a rabbit. That was a great story. Yeah, thanks, Dad. Can I get you a glass of milk? And a cookie? Kate, woo hoo ha, -ha. want to climb up? Sure, monkey boy. I'm first. Treehouse ladder. It broke. Hmm. And busted boards up there, too. We need a new treehouse. You mean we should tear this one down? What else? It's broken. But I thought we were going to make up a story this afternoon. Yeah, one last story before we tear it down. Okay, let's make up a story about a monkey. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, ah, ah, a giant monkey. <laughs> Who breaks toys? It was an accident. It's okay, you giant monkey. What should we call our story? I know. Monkey see, monkey break. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a giant monkey named Maxine. Who lived in a regular sized town. One day, Maxine was playing with her brand new toy airplane. my plane by accident no problem i'll go to the toy store and get a new toy see anything you like i'll take that but as soon as maxine got home she broke that toy too oh i better tie my shoe Whoops. It was an accident. <laughs> no, Biggie. I'll just go to the toy store and get a new toy. Anything catch your eye? I'll take that. A ball. Now that should last a while. It was an accident. 
But when the monkey went back to the store and looked inside... Sorry, Maxine, but I've got no toys left. <laughs> What's Maxine going to do? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. Let's take Maxine one of our toys. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! <laughs> hey there, Maxine. <laughs> we brought you one of our toys to play with. <laughs> really? Wow, thanks. But I gotta warn you, sometimes I'm unlucky with toys. Just be careful. Don't overwind it. Oops, sorry, Mr. Bird. No worries, Maxine. I can fix it. I took a class in carpentry. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That's amazing how many things I've broken. No, we're thinking, what if you could fix the toys you broke? Why didn't I think of that? Go for it, Maxine! Scene. Fixing toys sure makes me feel better than breaking them. See, Dad? We don't need to rip our treehouse down. Right! We can fix it. That's a great idea, kittens. But we really should tear down our house and build a giant castle. Just, Just kidding! kidding. <laughs> <laughs> My burps are the best. Uh. That's nothing. Listen to this. You are the worst. You are the worst. Awful. Most, Most totally, totally terrible. Kit, Kate, how about we make up a story? A story? Okay. About a squirrel princess. Yeah, who had a rare nut collection. And we can call the story... Aw, nuts! <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived a squirrel princess. And she just loved her collection of rare nuts. It's my very favorite thing in the whole wide world. She had many specimens. A fuzzy nut. A prickly nut. A glow-in-the-dark nut. A twisty nut. And a bumpity-bump nut. <laughs> but she was missing one last nut. The very rare noodle nut. One day, the princess went off to search for that noodle nut. She left the castle, but forgot to lock the door. And a little later, her best friend, the cat elephant, came to visit. Hello, squirrel princess? Look, snacks. Delicious. Meanwhile, the squirrel princess was having no luck at all finding a noodle nut. No noodle nut here. But she kept looking everywhere. Not a single noodle nut. She even climbed the tallest mountain in Tibet. And there, balanced on a yak's antler, a noodle nut. It's always the last place you look. Back at the castle, the cat elephant ate the very last nut in the box and fell asleep. <sighs> Finally, I can complete my collection. Could you? Oh, but I didn't know. You're so stupid! And, oh. and, oh. you have a funny looking nose! <laughs> I'm so mad I could eat an end table! <laughs> oh, she shouldn't have yelled at the cat elephant like that. She made him cry and lost her best friend. And she'll wreck her house, too. We gotta help! Go, go, kitty kitties, let's go! Kitten Kate 
are here. Did you bring nuts? No? Then you're useless and silly and scruffy. My kitties aren't scruffy. She's just saying mean things since she's upset. I know how to fix this. Friendship repair service. Did you bring nuts? No? Ah! Now, Squirrel Princess, you have to calm down. Why? Because friendship is more important than nuts. Now let's count to five. Together. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five. I do feel better. Thanks, Friendship Repair Service. Hey, where did she go? And where did the Catelephant go? Oh, no. I yelled at my best friend. You said mean things, so he ran away. I better find him and apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean those things I said. I just got so mad. I forgive you. Now I know. If I get really upset, I can just count to five. Right. That can help you calm down before you do or say something that you'll regret later. Would you like to go nut hunting together? <gasps> I'm sure we could find all of those nuts again. Yeah, that would be fun. Looks like those pals are pals again. And from then on, the Squirrel Princess always counted to five whenever she was upset. Ow, ow, ow! I stepped on those evil toys! Dad? Let's count to five together. I'm so mad, I may have to count to seven. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs>